Ministry of Communications was carved out of Ministry of Communications and Information Technology on 19 July 2016. It consists of two departments viz. Department of Telecommunications and Department of Posts. Formation Ministry of Communication and Information Technology was bifurcated into Ministry of Communications and Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. <laughs> Department of Telecommunications Also known as the Dor Sancher Vibhag, this department concerns itself with policy, licensing and coordination matters relating to telegraphs, telephones, wireless, data, facsimile and telematic services and other like forms of communications. It also looks into the administration of laws with respect to any of the matters specified, namely The Indian Telegraph Act, 1885, 13 of 1885. The Indian Wireless Telegraphy Act, 1940, 17 of 1933. The Telecom Regulatory Authority of India Act, 1997, 24 of 1997. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Public Sector Units. Bharat Sanchar Nigam Limited. Indian Telephone Industries Limited. Mahanagar Telephone Nigam Limited. Telecommunications Consultants India Limited. Topic R and D Unit Center for Development of Telematics. Topic Other Units Wireless Planning and Coordination Wing Telecom Engineering Center Controller of Communication Accounts Telecom Enforcement Resource and Monitoring Term Cells, formerly known as Vigilance and Telecom Monitoring VTM Celsa need was felt in the year 2007 to distinctly address the issues of communication network security at dot .hq level, consequent to enhancement of FDI limit in telecom sector from 49% to 74% and therefore a new wing, named Secure Security was created in .hq. Topic objectives E-government, providing E-infrastructure for delivery of E-services E-industry, promotion of electronics hardware manufacturing and ITITES industry E-innovation, R&D, implementation of R&D framework, enabling creation of innovation, R&D infrastructure in emerging areas of ICT and E, establishment of mechanism for R&D translation E-learning, providing support for development of E-skills and knowledge network E-security, securing India's cyberspace e Inclusion, promoting the use of ICT for more inclusive growth Internet governance, enhancing India's role in global platforms of Internet governance. Telephone Advisory Committees Telephone Advisory Committees MTNL website list of TAC members Topic Education National Institute of Electronics and Information Technology National Institute of Communication Finance National Agriculture Education Institute of Research and Resources India Topic Department of Posts The Department of Posts DOP operates one of the oldest and most extensive mail services in the world as of 31 March 2017, the Indian Postal Service has 154,965 post offices, of which 139,067 are in rural areas and 15,898 are in urban areas. It has 25,585 departmental POS and 129,380 ED BPOs. At the time of independence, there were 23,344 post offices, which were primarily in urban area. Thus the network has registered a sevenfold growth since independence, with the focus of the expansion primarily in rural areas. On an average, a post office serves an area of 21.56 square, km and a population of 7,753 people. This is the most widely distributed post office system in the world. The large numbers are a result of a long tradition of many disparate postal systems which were unified in the Indian Union post-independence. 
Owing to this far-flung reach and its presence in remote areas, the Indian Postal Service is also involved in other services such as small savings banking and financial services, with about 25,464 full-time and 139,040 part-time post offices. It offers a whole range of products under posts, remittance, savings, insurance and philately. While the Director General is the head of operations, the Secretary is an advisor to the Minister. Both responsibilities are undertaken by one officer. The DG is assisted by the Postal Services Board with six members. The six members of the board hold portfolios of personnel, operations, technology, postal life insurance, banking, planning respectively. Sri Ananda Narayan Nanda is the Secretary posts, also the Chairman of the Postal Services Board and Ms. Mira Handa is Director General DG posts. Ms. Achala Bhatnagar, Additional Director General Coordination ADG, Ms. Arunhati Ghosh, Member Operations, Shri Biswanath Tripathi, Member Planning, Shri Pradeepta Kumar Bisoy, Member Personnel, Shri Uday Krishna, Member Banking, Shri Salim Hachu, Member Technology and Shri Vineet Pandey, Member PLI and Chairman, Investment Board. The national headquarters are at Delhi and functions from Dock Bhavan located at the junction of Parliament Street and Ashoka Road. The total revenue earned including remuneration for savings bank and savings certificate work during the year 2016-17 was 11,511 crore rupees and the amount received from other ministries, departments as agency charges recoveries was 730.90 crore rupees and expenditure as 24,211.85 crore rupees during 2016-2017 against the previous year expenditure of 19,654. 0.67 crore rupees. The increase was mainly due to payment of increased pay and allowances consequent upon implementation of Seventh Pay Commission recommendations, leave encashment during LTC, cost of materials, oil, diesel, revision of service tax on GOVT, buildings, etc. Lack of proper investment in infrastructure and technology is the reason for such low revenue. The present top management has already started investing in latest technology to improve the infrastructure. Quality of service is being improved and new products are being offered to meet the competition. The field services are managed by postal circles, generally conforming to each state, except for the northeastern states. India has been divided into 22 postal circles, each circle headed by a chief postmaster general. Each circle is further divided into regions comprising field units, called divisions, headed by a postmaster general. Further divided into divisions headed by SSPOs and SPOs, further divisions are divided into subdivisions headed by ASPs and IPS. Other functional units like circle stamp depots, postal stores depots and mail motor service may exist in the circles and regions. Besides the 23 circles, there is a special circle called the base circle to cater to the postal services of the armed forces of India. Army Postal Services APS is a unique arrangement to take care of the postal requirement of soldiers posted across the country. Department of Posts personnel are commissioned into the Army to take care of APS. The base circle is headed by an additional Director General, Army Postal Service holding the rank of a Major General. The DOP is governed by the Indian Post Office Acts, 1898. Other than the traditional postage service in order to keep up with the age many new services have been introduced by the department. E-post, delivery of email through postman where email service is not available. E-billpost, convenient way to pay bills under one roof. Postal life insurance. International money transfers. Mutual funds. Banking. <laughs> 